Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Shadow Crypt. So, let's just hop right into this. This game is a... it's an interesting case. It's not often that I play... Uh, I don't play a whole lot of platformers anymore, and I really love platformers in general. But as far as Shadow Crypt goes, I don't love it. I don't love it that much. I've played maybe a grand total of like half an hour of it at this point. And, I mean, realistically, I can see the merits of this game, I can see a lot of the merits of this game, but at the same time, there's just too much wrong with it for me to like it. Which is a darn shame, because I like the idea of ultra-hard, you know, platformy goodness. You know, 2D side-scrolly, you know, difficult combat so you can fight enemies and dodge and roll and block and stuff. The problem is, this game does not have dodging, rolling, blocking, or anything like that. Well, it does have blocking. Uh, uh, correction. It, it has blocking. I just have no idea how to get it working. I've... Oh, hey, Paladin Blade. Sweet. So this game features uh, randomly upgradable equipment. It features... Uh, it features, like, some level of cool tactical combat. We don't want the broadsword. It's not as good as a pal dip. Paladin sword and gothic blood. Now if you notice I'm actually walking forward right now but only temporarily and it's like twitching. I'm not doing that. That That's just either my controller or something. I have no idea. But I'm not touching any of my keyboard, mouse, or whatever. No idea how that happens. No idea why. Very frustrating. And we get another spear. So you the way the game works is left, right on the controller, up, down, do, well, down, you can crouch. I love the animation. Like, there's actually secondary animation from the crouching. It, this game is obviously done by somebody who knows how to animate a character sprite and make, like, a really nice looking one. But, I mean, it, it's smooth. The animation is nice and smooth. The, the jumping works. But, uh, we're, we're getting close to the part that makes me rage a little bit. And luckily I've actually been doing very well this run, which is pretty good for me. And I guess this is one of those where this is one of those games where practice makes per perfect. If you don't practice and if you don't have a fair amount of luck, you're going to have a horrible time playing this game. Now, first and foremost, if you notice, you only have six... Oh, here we go. You only have six... Ow. You only have six health. And... There's no way of recovering it normally. You have to pick up hearts from enemies. Which sucks. Okay. Now, you can get more as you go along from enemies, or sometimes chests. Now, if you notice, the skeleton is just kind of messing my day up. And he's dead. Okay, beautiful. And silver blade, probably comparable to what we've got. This is actually the, uh, almost the farthest I've ever made it. I've killed him once, but if you notice when fighting him, Sword Strikes did not knock him back, did not stun, stun him at all. He just came in, kept swinging, whereas when he hits me, it not only hurts me a sizable portion, but also stuns me a little bit. My knockbacks were pitiable at best, and at this point I have two hearts left. Here's the next part that makes me very angry. We've got a... We've got a skeleton archer. It's showing it shooting an unending torrent of arrows. Let's wait a little bit for him to finish off. Because, uh, okay. So the way the controls work, you know, X, attack. Y, shield, or throw spear. B, jump. A, A does nothing as far as I can tell. So let's switch to this spear. And you, you can jump over his arrows, which is good. And it's probably the best way to deal with it. Because I've actually gotten close to that guy before. I've never landed in the spikes. I don't know what happens when I do that. Oh, whoops. That's not the button for switching weapons. Now, unfortunately, you only have a limited number of spears, which kind of sucks. And you don't get many of them when you pick up new ones, which also sucks. But, uh... He's back! And this time, you only have two health to fight him. Now, you can parry, but... As far as I can tell, there's no direct benefit to parrying in this game. You really have to time your attacks well? Huh. That, well, there we're dead. If you notice, none of my attacks except for the shield bash actually knocked him back. Luckily, we start back here. But, if you notice in the little inventory in the top left, our upgraded sword and shield are now gone. And, if you notice in the bottom, 
Oh, that was interesting. Uh, in the bottom, we only have two lives. So this game is meant to be completed in about half an hour, a little bit less, or maybe more. A at least it's completable within that time. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, for most people, you're only going to get maybe this far. I am somehow making it past by sheer grace of will, luck, and I don't know, gusto? I'll also practice. This is definitely one of those where practice makes perfect, but it, it's to the point where practice makes it unfun and you end up hating it. If you notice, it's another one of these guys. Also, my controller is walking me forward, or the game is, I have no idea. It, it does that for no real reason. But I'm discovering the best way to fight these guys is just to mash attack and then knock him back as soon as he gets close enough. Unfortunately, he can go after your cankles and kill you. Ah, uh, so very frustrating. And we have one life left. So luckily, we are full health for this. Oh, and we're doing the walk forward thing again. And he's already hit us twice. Like this game was meant to be inspired by the second Legend of Zelda game. You know, the one on the NES that was a platformer that doesn't match any of the other Zelda games. Yeah, that one. And I can see the influence. There's a lot of the same level of, like, kind of pseudo-frustrating difficulty. And that's not a bad thing, but you need to... You need to have a game with m a little bit more control than that. And as it stands, this game doesn't have it. Hey, we got a lightning weapon. That's actually the first time I've ever found one of those. So, in this case, A, the... What? Now that's... Well, that just... That's just frustrating. And we're dead. And we're permanently dead. So, uh, like if this game had a dodge roll, or slightly more responsive jumps, or parries and stuff, it would work well. But in this case, we have zero lives left. So now we have to get the, through this room. Oh wait, now we go back through here, and we go through the door up here. We now have to get through this room without that fancy lightning sword that we had just picked up. And those, those axes come back. Now, if I could, if they would get hit by the freaking spikes on the ceiling, I'd be okay with it, but they don't. Okay, we now have a shield. I really don't know what the difference is between the shields. There are no tooltips, but it seems like the upgraded shields generally knock enemies back a fair amount and possibly have a better block rate, which is useful, but it becomes meaningless. And we're dead. And we're dead permanently. I thought the previous one was going to be permanently. Notice it says game over. That's because it really is game over. You run out of lives. There are no checkpoints in this game. There are no do-overs. There's nothing of the sort. You have to go through all of that again. And, I mean, realistically, uh, my surprise at getting as far as I did, you do actually get a hell of a lot better at the game. At least you get more used to the combat scheme to the point where you can get through enemies. That said, let's look at the achievements. There's an achievement for complete the game without ever getting hit and without losing any lives. If this game had a more complicated combat system, I would say that would be attainable. Like a dodge roll system, just a basic dodge roll system, or a block button. You, like, if you could block in docks, Dark Souls, and, you know, you have to either crouch or not, because that, some enemies might stab you in the legs. That would work perfectly, but there's no active block system. Your character just randomly blocks from time to time with no real adequate reason. You could stand there, and you think it's like, oh, well, if I'm not attacking, maybe I block. No, that's not how it works either, and you can parry enemies, but it's, it's generally just kind of random, and, like, it, it's one of those where... The, the the system of the blocks and the parries would be really cool if it was really tight and self-explanatory and you know maybe there's a tutorial on how to you know perfect the system but as it stands it's just mash x and hope for the best which is kind of a bad way to deal with platformer combat um but the rest of the achievements are like don't get hit don't lose any lives complete the game three times in one playthrough complete the game without throwing any spears without using any elemental weapons uh, destroy 10 sorcerers with their deflected spells. I assume you can deflect their spells with a shield. There are a lot of these things, and realistically, you know, 
it, all right, fine. Achievements are kind of fun, but they feel out of touch, especially with how frustrating the gameplay is. Uh, let's look at the controls for a second. So. There are keyboard and gamepad controls, but both of which are pretty nice. But if you notice, A button is not used at all, which is weird. It's it's like the primary button that your finger's on, A and X, whereas B and B and Y are. So in this case, I'm going to switch jump over to A because I don't really see the point of it. Unless I screwed it up and accidentally pressed B. Oh, yeah, that's probably what I did. Okay, so originally A was jump, and B, I pressed B to go back, but no, you have to press... Uh, select on your controller to go back. So that makes a little bit more sense, but it still doesn't help that much Because yeah, Y button shield or spear Not block not shield bash. It's shield or spear B is item pickup. Ah, there we go. That's why I can never figure it out properly Because apparently having B is yeah, uh, yep having B yeah, Why not just pick up the items you walk over up on a controller actually that's the usual thing and then left shoulder and right shoulder weapon switch. There's no there's no block, there's no dodge roll. Had those been entered into this game, this game would actually be pretty fantastic if any if you could stagger enemies a little bit with your strikes. But they could stagger you pretty hard too. You know, there there's a lot of complexity that could be here, but as it stands, it just isn't in the game, which is a serious disappointment for me, because I want an ultra hard platformer that's like Dark Souls, and this game just doesn't cut it. I was hoping. And it's it's a shame because you know the the games industry needs more games with the like ultra hard thing attached but ultra hard needs to be balanced with ultra well balanced we now the hammer shield which i believe if i'm closer lets me go farther broadsword okay this makes a little bit more sense from a combat perspective now the one thing i haven't really shown off because i haven't done it is uh if you touch an enemy any kind of enemy does not matter what kind Oh, Bastard Sword's better than what we had. Any kind of enemy, if you're touching them, you take damage. So, like these guys, I guess? I mean, they're the basic kind of enemy. Pretty easy to get around. Pretty easy to avoid getting touched by. But at the same time, for me, it's a frustration because, you know, the enemy should hit you to, to do damage to you. By the way, uh, this is the other route. So if things are a little bit different, this is why. Let's let this guy... Can I? Nope. Okay, so first and foremost, enemies will not patrol. They will just go straight for you at all times until you leave their general area of effect, which is... I'm trying to hit him a couple of times. So, enemies will just continually, doggedly pursue you for, you know, till the end of, the, end of days. So if you're on a platform above them, it's kind of frustrating. Yep. Now, in this case, this guy has a spear, which is actually really frustrating because this spear has really long range, so the best way to deal with him is purely to... is purely to hit and run him, which, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but the way hit and run works is just walk back up the platform. Also, apparently I need a key to go through here. Great. <sighs> but as I was saying, you know, more games need the ultra-hard platforming sense. Uh, one of the reasons... I haven't touched Volgar, for example, even though I think that's pretty close, is because Volgar, it, it, um, there's an inherent unfairness to games like Volgar and this game, where you die, you start over. And I know it's supposed to harken back to the, you know, days of yore where you made a mistake, you paid for it. Oh. Okay, Silver Blade does do lightning damage, so we got that going for us. And, like, I, I like the history of it, but the days of even having limited lives are over. Like, who really wants to deal with that anymore? Th that was an arcade mechanic to force, force people to pay extra money just to, you know, prolong the game and, you know, earn both the developer and the arcade more cash. And for me, I would, I would much rather this game just have unlimited lives, be longer be more complicated, but as it stands, it's just artificially long for the sake of the developer did not uh, huh, interesting, for having that sword lightninged my spears are now lightning too that's actually kind of cool, in a weird way, but as I was saying when enemies, like if you're touching an enemy and you take damage, if I'd actually walked over here and stood on the skeleton, I would have just slowly died. Which, to me, is not compelling gameplay. 
like in this case, the easiest way to fight any enemy is to just back off a little bit. Oh, shoot, I don't have my shield out. Well, that explains things. But as you get more used to it, it, it doesn't feel... Avenger shield? Cool, I'm Captain America now. It, it doesn't... it doesn't feel any better. Even though I'm better at this game, it doesn't feel more satisfying. It just feels disappointing. And that's... I, I guess it's really the best summation I can give for this game. It, it had potential. It has potential, but unless the developer actually comes back and does stuff with it, I, I don't think I'm going to have much compunction ever return. Which is really sad, because games are meant to be played, not regretted. Uh, so, I, I mean, I guess at this point, you guys have already seen this, and I've got my word in. So, if you do feel like picking this up, even though I've been kind of ragging on it, it, it would be entertaining for those of you of the semi-hardcore play, you know, mentality. If you like Volgar, this one will at least kind of sate your thirst between, you know, one type of game and another. Really, if you were the kind of quarter pounder back in the... Quarter pounder. That doesn't quite sound right. Uh, if you were an arcade nut back in the day, this might fulfill your, you know, your desire to keep playing. Actually, I should probably play La Mulana. Come to think of it to give an accurate comparison here. But in this game, it's just... Oh, right. Well, okay, we're on the other side now. And apparently the... Uh, wow. Well, spears forever, I guess. And I don't have any more, even though I died. Well... And we're dead. And we're permanently dead. Because at this point, I've had it with Shadow Crypt, which is a shame. I want to like it, but I can't. There, there's just not enough depth for me to do so. And that disappoints me greatly. But, you know, it's $10 on Steam right now. It's greenlit everything. I, actually, I don't even know if it went through the greenlit process. Green light process, but it's fully released. So if you want a full game, as far as I can tell, this is the entire package. Uh, and I guess really that's all I can say. If you like hardcore platformers, you know, side scrolly hack and slash, this game might be worth it for you. Uh, if you're a speedrunner, I bet I bet you'd actually get a kick out of this one. But if you're a regular casual player like me, or you know, a person that loves Dark Souls and wants something Dark Souls esque, this one's just going to feel a bit disappointing. And I guess that's all I can say about it. So, if you liked this uh, negatively tinged impressions in any way, shape, or form, I should not be so self-deprecating. I'm a critic, not a advertiser. But, uh, you know, if you liked this in any way, shape, or form, drop a like. It really helps uh, both get the word out and, um, you know, helps me in general. And if you want to see more, uh, hit subscribe, because I'm going to be doing a heck of a lot more of these first impressions type videos. Usually of indies on uh, day one, but, you know, some AAA too. And uh, if you're a regular viewer and this is just another video wa watch, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video, whatever that one will be.